Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. We are currently discussing Ajax in WordPress. In the previous video, we learned about what Ajax is and we also looked at the WordPress core file, which is admin-ajax.php to see how Ajax is working under the hood. And we will discuss further in detail in this video, how we can implement that for load more posts feature in WordPress. Let's begin. So before we create the infinite scroll feature, let's first understand how we can implement the Ajax functionality with the load more feature. Well, the step one would be to create a JavaScript file. Now I'm going to show it to you how to create it. We will actually code it, but let's first understand the basic concept. Okay. We create a JavaScript file called loadmore.js. Then we enqueue that JavaScript file and create a nonce. So we create a custom function. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just naming it as asset loader. Then we use the WP enqueue script to enqueue our JavaScript. We put the path to our loadmore.js file. We put the dependency as jQuery, which is already available. We don't have to include our separate jQuery file because WordPress already provides that. We put the version number. And the next thing we do is we use the WP localized script because, so if you remember from the previous video, let me back this a bit. You need to pass your Ajax URL over here when making an Ajax call uh, using jQuery.ajax. So because your JavaScript needs this Ajax URL and it also needs the nonce, we need to pass that from PHP because the nonce will be created through PHP function using WP create nonce. And we are going to get the this URL dynamically from PHP and we're going to pass that as a JavaScript object. And that JavaScript object then that can be used over here to retrieve the Ajax URL and the nonce, etc. So coming back, we can use WP localized script. We put the name of the hook of the script that we are enqueuing. So in this case, because our load more uses app as a hook name, we use the same one. We put the name of the object, which will be passed to this particular file. And then in form of an array, we can pass different properties. So we have key value pair. So we have first the Ajax URL. And admin underscore URL is a WordPress function that basically that basically allows us to provide the path up until admin ajax.php. So that's going to be the URL. Then we will create the nonce using WP underscore create underscore nonce, load more post nonce, and then we set that equal to ajax underscore nonce variable. Uh, if you don't know what nonce is, you can watch my video. I have created a very extensive video on, on what nonce is and why it is used. Okay, it's basically used for security. And then we just use WP NQ scripts and we hook our function to that. Okay. The next thing we do is we hook the load more function to the Ajax hooks that we have spoken about in the previous video. So we create a function. This is our custom function. You can name it whatever you want. I'm naming it as Ajax underscore script underscore post underscore load underscore more. Okay, uh, we pass a variable. So this function is going to accept a variable for initial request. Uh, this is so that because we will be loading at least five or 10 posts first, and then if the user clicks on load more, then we're going to load extra posts. But so that we can reuse this function for the initial request of getting the data without Ajax request, that's why we're passing this variable. It will become more clearer when we see this in action. So there's a function in WordPress called check admin referrer, and this basically ensure the intent by verifying that the user was referred from another admin page with the correct security nonce. So this is to ensure that it verifies the nonce. So you can look at it in more detail. It basically takes the action, then it takes the query argument, the nonce, and then it goes ahead and verifies that. So you can see over here that it's using WP verify nonce function under the hood. So this is your core file. Please do not modify it. This is just for your understanding. So it basically uses this function to verify that particular nonce. Okay. And returns one if the nonce is valid and generated between zero to 12 hours ago or two if the nonce is valid and generated between 12 to 24 hours ago and finally false if the nonce is invalid okay so we check if this is not an initial request 
we use this function check ajax referrer to verify the nonce this is your nonce action name so this is not the same as the action name that we use while making the ajax request this is different this is the action name for the nonce and we use the same one when creating the nonce so notice that this part if you go back is the same as this right so when we create the nonce you have to use the same name okay then we say a uh, second parameter is ajax underscore nonce and false and then we send the error using wp send json error in case if it's not valid we die using wp die zero and then response status would be 400 then we check if it's an ajax call using the dollar underscore server that shouldn't be empty and that should and it should be xml http request we write our query over here so we'll discuss more about the query later but we'll just understand the concept first so we write our query over here and then we echo out the response and then finally we check if it's the ajax request and it's not the initial request then ensure to wp die right and then finally we hook our custom function to wp underscore ajax underscore load more so remember that this part highlighted part is actually the action name which we are going to use while making the ajax request and then we also hook it to no priv because we want to ensure that the load more functionality works for both logged in and logged out users so again this is your nonce action name and this is your standard action name which you'll use while making the ajax calls and always end your script with a WP die function to ensure that you get back the proper output. If you don't include this, then you'll always get back a negative one string along with the result. Okay, so make sure you do that. So now we add the JavaScript in the loadmore.js file. We first go ahead and create a class called loadmore. Inside of that, we have a constructor function. Remember that we are passing the site config using WP localized script. So let me show that to you. Let me reverse that. So you see over here that we are passing the localized script and we are passing side config, right? So the same side config object is going to be available to this particular file because we use the WP localized script function. And we store that inside of a, a variable. And then we also store the nonce so that we can send the nonce along with our Ajax request. And then we create a function which will be called every time a load more button is hit. And inside of this function, we use our jQuery.ajax function for the Ajax call. We provide this URL, which, which has been passed from PHP using the admin URL function. And then we set the type to post. It will be a post request. We put the data, put the action name as load more. And then we place the Ajax nonce that we have received from the PHP file using WP create nonce. And then we get the success. We handle the success and we handle the response. Okay. So to recap, uh, this is your Ajax URL passed by WP localized script function. This is your action name. And this is your nonce passed by WP localized script. Okay. So let's take a look at the flow, which will make it very clear about what we are about to achieve. Okay. So let's say on the front end, we first initially load a certain number of posts, for example, five posts, and then we have a load more button. Okay. So when you want to load the initial five posts, we again call our Ajax function and we set the initial post variable value to true so that it loads the initial one and does not treat that as an Ajax call. And then once we have the initial post loaded, when the user clicks on load more button, handle load more post function is fired, which I've just shown you in the JavaScript file. And inside of this handle load more post function, we have the jQuery.ajax function, which gets called. This call goes to the admin hyphen ajax.php, passing any data with the nonce that is received from the WP localized script. And when this ajax call goes to that admin ajax file, we, you know that there are already two hooks available there, which are waiting to get fired, right? So now because we had hooked our custom function called ajax underscore script underscore post load more, this hook gets fired in both situations, whether the user is logged in or not and the function gets called, this ajax script function gets called. And inside of this function, we basically verify the nonce using check admin referrer. We perform the query, we get the result, and we echo out the result. This result is then passed back to the ajax function, jquery.ajax function. And you know that inside of the ajax function, you have the success function, which receives the response on success. And then 
inside of the success function, we basically use JavaScript to append the data to the front end HTML element. So let's say we received another five post. We're going to take that five post and using JavaScript, we're going to append those five post markup to the existing five post. Okay, so if we have a div, it already has five posts, we're going to append another five of them. And this process will continue for as long as we have the posts available. Okay, once you've appended, so earlier we had five posts, we loaded another five posts. Again, user clicks on load more, and the same process repeats another five posts until it's finished. Now, what we will be doing is that instead of instead of asking the user to click on it, we're going to automate that using the infinite scroll functionality with the intersection observer API. Okay, so we're going to see all of that in action in the next video itself. So I hope it was clear to you. And I hope you loved the video. And if you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. If you aren't already, please do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayyad. And thanks to all the 1000 followers and please do start my repository and again thanks to all the 363 beautiful people who have starred my repository and please do follow me on twitter as well my twitter handle is koditech okay so i'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye